plans of a proposed joint venture of Anglo Gold Ashanti Ejiaprim and Goldfield Sacro Mines was recently announced by the two mining companies. The proposed measure is expected to improve life of the mine, ensure business efficiency and operational synergy through combining respective all bodies and infrastructure for the benefit of shareholders and stakeholders. It will also make the new company, which will be named Goldfields Ghana Limited, the largest mining company in Africa. Once the requisite approvals are through, the government will have a stake of 10%, Goldfields will have 60% stakes, and Anglo Gold will have 30%. The executive vice president and head of Goldfields West Africa, Joshua Mototi, said the joint venture will maximize production for both entities. Extremely exciting about the opportunity to create a mining entity with the potential to become the largest gold mine in Africa, delivering safe, sustainable, and profitable production over the long term. We will do this by leveraging the operating efficiency advantage at Tangwa due to its scale to unlock higher gold rates at Ethiopia and maximizing production across both processing plants. Gold fields and Anglo Gold Ashanti share a long history. Indeed, most of us have worked for each other, including myself, in Ghana, and are committed to working collaboratively to operate a world-class gold mine. This creates a platform to develop the substantial mineral endowment at Tampa and Ethiopia. The proposed joint venture will be a high quality asset that will offer sustainable returns over an estimated life of at least 18 years. This means we are looking at estimated average production on a 100% basis of approximately 900,000 ounces per annum over the first five years and in excess of 600,000 ounces per annum over the estimated life of the operation. It is proposed that once the requisite approvals are received, the government of Ghana will have a stake of 10% in the joint venture. Gold fuels will have 60% and annual gold will have 30%. The proposed joint venture is subject to the conclusion of due diligence and definitive transaction agreements and the requisite regulatory approvals. On his part, the managing director of Anglo Gold Ashanti Gold Mines, Eric Isubontin, indicated that the proposed joint venture will not result in massive job losses. What we are focusing on to unlock value is not about cutting jobs. It's about unlocking value by bringing two more bodies together, leveraging of the efficiencies and grades and flexibility in planning and so on that you get from each of those operations coming together. It's not about job cuts. We've already said that this joint venture is not going to have any major impact on employment. There could be some a relatively small impact on some jobs in terms of it. And it could be a change of job, not necessarily losing your job. But even in those situations, we'll work through it together, uh, the two HR teams, on a combined structure. And those that will be impacted, we will look at opportunities to redeploy them in other areas. It's only after that, that if we can't find a redeployment opportunity that we talk about uh, compensation. And we'll do it the right way, underpinned by our values, coming by law, um, and our collective agreements, and most importantly, being transparent and looking uh, to employees as we do so.